Okay, so welcome back to another video of Game and Fix. Today I will be doing an updated room tour version of my game room. And I'm sorry for not posting in a while. I know it's Christmas break right now. And I know I haven't posted in a while. Only because I've been busy with family. But, um, yeah, I guess I'll go, ho go ahead and show you guys the new updated version of my room. So, I have a gaming PC now. It's, uh... It's nice. It's, pre it's, pre it's pretty nice. It has around 64 gigabytes of RAM and um, has an EVGA uh, power supply. And this is a custom built computer by my dad. And I like it a lot. It's pretty good. And um, this right here was recently added, which is why I didn't do the regular, the regular setup where I always stand right here and you guys just see my hand and restore something. But um, this right here is my um, iMac. 1998 iMac G3. This is the the original model. So has this one has CD, has uh, two headphone jacks, which is very useful. More for like school. So if you guys are watching a video, you guys can share with headphones. And that's pretty cool. Power button. Um, and this one here has the infrared. Um, right now I'm trying to update it to Mac OS 10.4, which is the most modern version of Mac OS it could run. Trying to see if I can get it to run that. And then the mouse is the hockey puck. And we have this trans completely transparent keyboard, which is really nice. I mean, I like it a lot. That's pretty cool. And, um, I mean, it's it's pretty big for what it is. But, I mean, I, I mean it looks like a nice setup right here. So, yeah. Anyways, so I know I have consoles, and I know I have a computer. So with that, I mean, I guess I am a PC gamer and a console gamer. But, I, I don't know, I just I guess I just like both. So right here is just still my Xbox. It's still my Xbox One. And I have a new 1 terabyte hard drive right here. So because I was running out of space on here, so I added that. And that works good now. And um, here are my Xbox 360. Not much new. I bought a, a new game recently because I got some money over Christmas. Anyways, by the way, hope you guys had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. It's 2020 now. It's pretty cool. We're still here. So that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, I just bought a new game for this recently. Castle Crashers. I highly recommend that game. Super fun game, especially with friends. Then we got the NES here. I recently got Punch Out for this, so that's pretty cool. I got Punch Out for this because a lot has changed since the last uh, tour video. I got Punch Out for this. Um, I'm still trying to get Contra. I really want to get Contra like that. That will complete my collection that I want. SNES Classic, you know, already comes with all the, all the games, so that's fine. My N64, this thing's pretty cool. I play. I I have a few games I want to get like Mario Party, uh, Mario Kart. I already have Mario Kart on the on the Wii, but I want to keep it original. So like same thing with this one. I already have Tech Mobile for the Wii, but I got it for the NES just because it's cool. And so I have four N64 controllers now. I have all my games down here. I recently gave away two games to one of my friends. I have um, the any the SNES mouse, which I can't use on this one, obviously. I have to borrow a real SNES, and then I can play Mario Paint. So that's pretty cool. And I have four N64 controllers. And then down here, I got the NES Advantage. And, yeah, I was going to do a controller repair on this, but... I wanted to keep it original since you have to remove all four of these little pads. So, you know. But, um, yeah. If you, it comes with two ports, you plug it into both. And you and your friends can take turns. Especially with arcade games like Burger Time or, um, even Mario, I guess. Like, Mario works too. NES Advantage Pad. I got this for 10 bucks. Yeah, it's a great, really great controller. I love it a lot. 
I also have, um, yeah, like I said, my SNES, my NES game. I have, I got Legend of Zelda. I don't know if I said that in the last, I can't remember the last video. But, um, yeah, they're always gold cartridges. And, um, let's see, where is Spongebob? Ah, oh, here's Spongebob. Let's see. Here's punch -Out. I believe this is the one where you fight Mike Tyson. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, I've been wanting to get this game for a while, and I, I got it. I tested it out, and it works. All my games in here work. The only, time, the only thing I have to do to them since the NES is the original NES. It's not a clone. What I have to do is I have to get out of here on the comic swab. I have to clean the, clean the um, contacts on there. And then I can, I'm able to insert into the actual console and then I can actually play. And I also have the NES Zapper. This is the updated version that they made because they made a gray one. That was the gray NES Zapper, but that one got recalled because of people, um, you know, kids would have it. And then the parents would be like, yeah, I don't want him to carry that, thinking people, making people think it's a real gun. So then they painted it orange. So that's cool. This only works on a CRT, which I do have a CRT, not with me right now, but I do have a CRT. And I have played Duck Hunt on this before. Oh my god, it's fun. But Duck Hunt is actually, um, you actually have to aim it in order to shoot down some ducks. Anyways, so, last time we pretty much cut the video here. But, here's other stuff. I have a limited edition platinum <coughs> GameCube controller that was not here from last time, last video. I have a regular, a regular GameCube right here. This was my very first GameCube. I mean, technically, I have three GameCubes because the Wii. So, the, I haven't shown the Wii only because the Wii is in. The Wii is in the living room. That's only why. But, um, oops. Um, so, the two controller parts on this don't work. Which is why I use that one. Because that one fully works. I have an Xbox original here that does not work. I have an Xbox. Another Xbox original that does work. And I already fixed it. Because a lot of these Xboxes have disc tray problems. I want to make a video on it. However, I don't have the special tweezers. And by special tweezers, I just mean really long and flat tweezers for this right here. So, because there's a little band that gets dirty and you have to pull it out from the disc tray. And you don't have to remove the seal or anything like that. So, that's the only thing. But, um, yeah. And then, walk over here. My Xbox Original, which I still play a lot and I got a new controller for it. Well, I mean, it's aftermarket, but still I have like four controllers for it now. Not for it, so that's pretty cool. And these are all my Xbox games, if you guys want to take a look at that. So here's the front row, or in the top row, my bad. That's the top row. And the bottom row, right there. Yeah, that little Wii one right there, that's not, um, it's not a Wii game, it's an Xbox game. I forgot which one, but pretty much, yeah. That's about it. But there's a little few more in there. Um, other than that, that's pretty much about it. Oh, right. Almost forgot. Uh, this right here is the Game Boy, which you restored from two videos ago, I think. And this right here is the original Game Boy. So, I found out what the problem was. It's the A, it's the, the A button. It does not work at all. It's a circuit inside. We're going to try to fix that. Not on camera because it involves like way more than like just just like cleaning. So in here, if I turn it on, you probably can't see on camera, but there's two dead pixels that you, that are hard that aren't showing up on camera. So if I change this, you can see that. So this turns on now, on and off like nothing. And look, if I try to play. When I click the A button, nothing happens. So, if you keep walking, there's a Goomba right there. You're pretty much forced to die. You can't jump. 
Yeah. But the music sounds good. And uh, can't see that. All right. Well, here's my other stuff. Here's this Game Boy. This right here was I showed this in the last Game Room tour video. It's my Game Boy Color. It hasn't been changed at all. And if you guys remember, I also did another Game Boy Color restoration video about a green Game Boy that didn't even want to turn on. Well, here it is. I bought a new case for it, and it looks pretty damn good. I love the clear. I love the clear case that it has on it. it looks. It looks really cool. The transparent purple looks really nice. The only problem with it now is that when I was swapping it out, I think I did something to the speaker. Cause watch, whenever you turn it on. There's no noise. There's no noise. The only way you can hear noise is through here. But yeah, this this Game Boy, yeah, this is probably my go-to. I know there's no noise, but whenever I'm on the road, I always use my headphone jack. So that's fun. And the buttons feel brand new. Everything works. So yeah, this is a really cool Game Boy that I have, that I use a lot. And then right here is my other original Game Boy. And look. I mean, this one looks pretty clean, right? I mean, it's kind of faded, but, you know, it's fine. Let me see. Let me see. Let me take this off. Watch this comparison. Look at that. It's different. Like, when I had this one, I thought it was, like, kind of faded. Because I couldn't really tell, like, was this the original color or not? And then I look at this one. Yeah. I thought this was the original color. And then I compared it, and I'm like, Jesus Christ. This one works completely perfect. This is my favorite Game Boy I own. Absolute favorite one. It's completely white, and I love the color. And this one's kind of faded. This kind of looks like, you know, it kind of looks like what it would have looked like back then, I guess. Only because of how many people use it a lot. But this one's like practically in mint. And it looks really nice. So, I usually keep that one in there, which I will. And, if you ever want to turn your Game Boy into a... I'll use the Game Boy Color. If you ever want to turn your Game Boy into an iPhone 11 Pro, simple. Just grab this. Let me put this down. Just grab the Game Boy Camera. A lot of people don't even know this existed. They made a camera for the Game Boy. That's crazy. You can use it on the original, but if you use it on the color, you get better, you know, better picture. So let me put on the color. Real quick. Oh yeah, I did not mention this in the last video. I almost forgot about that. These are right here. Let me move that. These are here are the oldest video games I own. I can't, I haven't even played them. These are for the Atari from 1978. This stuff is old. These are the oldest video games I own. Forgot, I forgot to say that in the last video. Like Home Run and Video Olympics. Yeah, I wish I had an Atari so I could play these games. Because these were the games my dad played. But, yeah, one day. Those are, yeah, they're old. Anyways, look at that. This right here is selfies before selfies. It's crazy. But let's say you want to take a picture about like over here or something like that. You just turn the camera around. Boom. You have a front and rear facing camera to take pictures. This right here. I bet your Switch doesn't have that, does it? Your Switch doesn't have a camera. Guess what? The Game Boy did. It's not a good camera, but it still takes pictures. However, mine, this one needs to get re-soldered. I've already tried taking it apart. I was going to make a video out of it, but it involves soldering. And a lot of people that watch my channel probably don't know what soldering is. But um, it's just a matter of re-soldering a few wires that are in built in here around like this little big chunk box or something like that. And I just have to re-solder that. 
and um, this is pretty much my entire collection. I recently started playing with my drone, so that's cool. But um, yeah. So, anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. This is Game Fix. Hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Well, Christmas already passed, but you guys get the point. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. And, bye.